today on William's Adventures, uh, we, and I do say we because I have a guest with me, are making a um, dining table for this uh, event that is going on. It's a feast for the uh, combat group I'm in, the Pirates of Purgatory. I'll put a link down in the description so you actually know what it is. It's a uh, boffer combat fighting group. But we are building, we need to build a table to handle at least 30 people. So we have a couple pallets and some doors. Yes, actual wood doors we are using to, as the base, and then we have to attach legs to them. Now what I've, now what we have done is we've literally just finished an L-frame uh, leg Sorry for all the shaking, but it's like 110 degrees here and we're sweating them. This, we have the shop, have to have the shop open for the light. Otherwise it's dark in here. But we just made an L frame, so I'm gonna show you what we got going on. I'm gonna turn the camera around, introduce my guest, and then show you the wood we've been handling. Oh yeah. All right. So this is my good buddy. Dallas, nice to meet you all. So what we have here is we've taken a couple pieces of two by four, we cut them to exact length, and we drilled three really big bolts into it. Now, it doesn't look like much, but I'll tell you right now, it would take a couple of elephants to pull this damn thing apart. The bolts that he mentions happen to be 3 8 by 2 by half inch lag screws, and we happen to have a bunch of them, like all of these bags here. Because there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six bags. So we got plenty of lag screws. And if we really wanted to, we also have these little guys. These are... The bolt nuts that go yeah, on them. M12 by 1.75 nuts. Yeah, but we aren't going to be using these. Now, what we've did is we've literally made an L-frame out of these. And you can see we've drilled three of the bolts in here. And then what we're going to do is attach, well, we're gonna have to flush up one of these sides because I thought it was flush, but that's okay. We have a table saw for that. And we're going to mount these to the bottom of the pallet. So the pallet's gonna sit on top of this. Now, this is not what I would consider your normal everyday pallet. No, 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 this, no, no. This, Oh, Alright, let's come out. Yeah, we're gonna go out here and show you. This pallet is made up of two by six. Here, pull that out so they can see the front of it. Huh. Yeah. This is industrial pallet. Frankly speaking, it is probably one of the heaviest pallets I have ever picked up. And if you want to know, let me grab a tape measure over here. Sorry for all the movement, but you guys should be used to it by now. Oh, shit. <laughs> I fell. Ow. No, it was already broken. It is almost seven feet long, yep. each one of these. Now, really quick, I have an idea to run by you, if you're, if you're okay with this being And thing. it is three foot, three and a half inches tall. And what we're doing is we are mounting a leg about 30 inches that is 28 and 3 eighths to the bottom of this because we're going to mount it to the bottom side here and not this part because well we don't have bolts long enough to go through this but they can go through here so we're going to mount them down into like the second board. Nice spear. Thank you, it was my grandfather's. And so this way, from the top of the table to the bottom of the leg, is going to be 30 inches. Now, may where's I shoot, that leg? May I shoot my idea real fast? Mm. Hold on a second. Here, hold the leg. So that's what it's gonna look like. We have this nice solid leg. What we're gonna do is take and drill bolts through the here into the two by fours so it is nice and secure. That's the hope anyways. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> definitely the hope. Okay. All right. So, let's go back inside because we got to square up this yeah. and then well, really shut quick, the... Here's my idea. Here's our thing, the garage oh. door. My idea is we are trying to make a table to hold 30 people. Now, yes. One of those pallets is 7 foot, which means two of them is 14. What if we took two of those pallets and hinged them? No, it'd be way too heavy. It may be heavy, but it would still sit 30 people. We, we could find ways to lift it. Especially, yeah. Especially if we're do, using a trailer. I don't want to do that. It's going to be way too heavy. Two of us can easily move one of those tables. Okay, three of us can move. Three of us can probably move one of those. All right. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to come over here and take my table saw. And yeah, square, up. square up this end by ripping this off here. But I wanted to take and show you what we got currently going on i do have other videos i plan on uploading um probably starting tonight i did take today off because the party for my 44th birthday and housewarming and nicole and i's renewable renewal of our vows was yesterday and i am sweating like a pig and you can see it hey i'm not but, much better yeah i know but that was yesterday, and, well, I drank a little bit too much, and so I didn't feel like working in this 110-degree weather today. Yeah, sure. What do you guys say? All right. Also, remember, if you do anything like this, always have the proper equipment. Yes. If you do not have the proper protection or know-how, don't attempt it. Yes. It, it can be dangerous. As you can see here, we are using headphones or heads. Air protection we have safety glasses we are staying away from the running table saw we're doing our best to take into it even though our work area looks cluttered as hell this is no this is intentional and yes so yes safety first always first all right 